You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly spoilers running from Monday, May 20th, all the way through Friday, May 24th. Sweeps ends, by the way, on Wednesday the 22nd, if you were keeping track of that. We've got big stuff happening. Of course, we have a new couple that just got engaged. We have a wedding coming. We've got somebody getting fired from a big, high-profile job. We've got some cheating. So much to unpack. If you haven't, though, please reach down, click subscribe. That way you don't miss any of our day's updates. Now let's just jump right into these weekly spoilers. Monday, May 20th is season 59, episode 191. We have a new actress debuting this week. Her name is Kennedy Garcia. She is playing a character named Felicity who's going to interact with Chanel at Sweet Bits. This is the young woman with Down syndrome that she was talking about being so great and when they were discussing her pregnancy now being high risk and that her child may her unborn child might have some sort of birth defect or some kind of issue so kennedy is the first actress with downs to appear on a u.s soap opera so i'm looking forward to seeing her next week and leo stark finds holly jonas sneaking around with tate black on monday i'm very curious what he does because he does care about Nicole. So I just wonder if this is one more secret he's going to blab or maybe he's too drunk to remember it. We'll see. Johnny and Chanel go to see a high risk pregnancy specialist as next week kicks off. And EJ DeMera sees his drunk wife, Nicole, kissing Eric Brady. Whoops. Plus, after Stefan goes to Paulina and tells her all the sketchy, sketchy stuff EJ has been doing, Paulina goes to Melinda Trask and ask her if she wants to be Salem's DA again, which is great because I so want to see EJ fired. Tuesday, May 21st, 2024, season 59, episode 192. So after working at The Spectator, Stephanie, Everett, and Leo go out for drinks after work, and it looks like their evening is going to turn volatile and somebody's going to wind up arrested. Meanwhile, Kate Roberts is venting about Ava Vitale while Eric is spending time with his dad, Roman, because Eric goes to see Roman on Tuesday probably to talk to him about the state of his marriage or maybe about kissing Nicole. Meanwhile, Chad Demera is pushing Steve Johnson to help him find Clyde Weston. Now that Chad found Abigail's diary that has more info about Clyde's criminal operation, he really wants to take the bad guy down. And EJ hits Sloan with a stunning ultimatum. I believe he's going to tell her that the baby has to go back to Nicole. After seeing Eric and Nicole kissing, I think EJ feels like he needs some glue to hold his marriage together and push Eric away. And Nicole thinking that her baby with EJ, that non-existent baby, because she never had a baby with EJ, is alive could help him out. Wednesday, May 22nd is episode 193 of the current season. And Chanel tells Johnny that she is certain she wants to keep on with the pregnancy despite the high risk, despite what the professional says that they went to the high risk specialist. Julie is so excited on Wednesday because the Horton house is all revamped, ready for everybody to move back in. And Maggie Horton's plan to get payback on Constantine kicks and remember she doesn't just want to humiliate him at the altar she is basically faking criminal activity to have him arrested I mean he's already engaging in fraud but they're going to set him up to look like he is an embezzler as well. And Alex Kidiakis plans to move into the mansion and asks Teresa Donovan to move in with him. She thinks she is on the cusp of getting everything she wants, but she doesn't know he is still banging Kristen and doesn't seem like he's about to give her up. 
Tate tells Aaron that he and Holly have been sneaking around behind their parents' backs and they are actually in a romance. Because remember, Aaron was going to take Holly to the prom. Tate was going to take, I think Sophia is her name. And if Holly has convinced Nicole to let her go, that might still happen. Thursday, May 23rd, 2024 is episode 194 of season 59. And we have got Stephanie Johnson telling Chad about the night that she and Leah went out drinking with Everett and what happened? Well, Everett was arrested because he assaulted Eric Brady and they do have something in common. I mean, they're working together, but also Eric used to date J- used to date Jada. And of course, Bob Everett was married to her. So I wonder if this is a Jada thing or it's something else. Meanwhile, Marlena Evans thinks she has figured out What's going on with Everett? What is wrong between his ears? Because that one chick at the bar was calling him Bobby because that's what he introduced himself as. So there's definitely a whole lot of action going on inside his head. And Eric confronts his wife, Sloan Peterson, about her recent behavior. I I mean, she's been off kilter. She's been running amok because she's trying to stop EJ from taking the baby or from having her arrested. She's trying to get Leo to shut up and not tell Nicole anything, especially now that he's taken a payoff. She is trying to protect Melinda. She's got a whole lot of balls in the air on top of the financial distress that playing the blackmail has caused. And... I'm sure she is stressing out. Eric has noticed he's not happy. This is all going to blow up in Sloan's face so soon. And Rafe Hernandez is really shocked when he sees Everett, a.k.a. Bobby, because I think this is Bobby coming out of his brain, trying to flirt with Jada Hunter, his ex-wife. And Steve notes that Everett doesn't seem like himself. He seems off somehow. And that takes us to the last day of the week, Friday, May 24th, 2024, season 59, episode 195. Sloan has a confession she makes to Eric. Now, you read that spoiler and knowing what's going on with EJ, you think, okay, she's going to give up and come clean. She has talked about coming clean to Eric before. Melinda Trask kept talking her out of it. I honestly don't think Sloan is going to confess that she stole the baby. I I just don't don't see her going down without more of a fight or, you know, making sure that she's got some guarantees from EJ that she won't go to jail. Nicole and EJ spend the day together on Friday, but they are both lost in thought. She's thinking about the fact that, oh, you know, she kissed her ex-husband, which is tantamount to cheating on her current husband. And of course, EJ is thinking long and hard about the fact that he knows Nicole's baby is alive. He knows he's not the father. And what is he going to do about it? Because he wants his marriage to stay together. Meanwhile, Chanel tells Johnny she is increasingly worried about the effects of that radiation on their baby. And Marlena tells Stephanie, Rafe, and Jada what she believes Everett's official psychological diagnosis is and what's going on inside his head. It looks like a really good week on days. I'm excited to see what happens. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see and definitely come back soon because we are here talking days of our lives seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.